Okay, I'm uh, John Chudley, the Division Apprenticeship Director in the South for the National Apprenticeship Service. John, you're, you've got two professions, one with your uh, offshore uh, background and also with the National Apprenticeship Service. How can you see those two blending for the future with, uh, with green skills? Yeah, I perhaps sort of explain that as well, yes, well if the National Apprenticeship Service, as you say, I'm a, I'm a Chartered Marine Engineer. Um, and I, I think there's huge potential uh, for the you know apprenticeship uh, program to satisfy some of the skills needed, you know, in the green skills renewables sector. I mean, uh, with the marine engineers, there's been a bit of work done on looking at purely just at the development of offshore wind, and I think something like 60,000 new jobs in the space of five years dedicated to that profession. Whereas perhaps it's been a, a sort of technology transfer from oil and gas, the industry itself has got so large that they're now developing dedicated vessels and dedicated technologies purely for that. So I think the sector as a whole, you know, will need to start looking at framework development, you know, providers, employers and sector skills councils working together to create dedicated apprenticeship frameworks for the renewable sector in that broader context. Yeah. And um, what level of apprenticeships are you um, anticipating will be the need in the future? Again, I, I think in this sector, I think it's at all levels. I think it's very important that, you know, around this sector, perhaps traditionally, you know, universities and HEIs have looked at, uh, you know, developing bachelors, masters, you know, in various green technologies. But I think now the time is that we're going to require, you know, level three development, but then progression you know, within the sector. So I'd like to think there'd be level four, level five, level six, even level seven development of apprenticeship frameworks in this area. Linked to professional recognition. That's important for me. So it's, you know, I said I'm a chartered marine engineer. I think if we have a level seven framework developed, we don't talk about comparing it to a master's because it's comparing apples and pears. If you have a level seven apprenticeship framework, it would perhaps lead to becoming a chartered engineer with a relevant professional body. So then you're talking about your professional competence and as near in engineering as we've got to license to practice. Slightly different mindset, but let's stop talking about the degree and start talking about the professional recognition. Mm -hmm.